welcome to the launch of Project Seatbelt. This is a project that's been a long time in the making, and uh, we're thrilled that you could be here today for the official uh, launch. My name is John Heffernan, and I am the director of the RFK Center's Speak Truth to Power, which is their human rights uh, uh, curriculum. We have a lot to cover this morning, and I will be the, the official MC, so I get to introduce all of these wonderful people sitting up here on my right and on my left. Moral courage is a rarer commodity than bravery in battle or great intelligence, yet it is the one essential vital quality for those who seek to change a world which yields most painfully to change. On average, every month, two children in each classroom in our country miss a day of school because they feel unsafe. And in school, in cyberspace, in our communities, bullying is endemic. In the course of a generation, behavior has changed. We now got in a car, especially people of my generation, there's no thought to putting on a seatbelt, it's automatic. It's something that we do without thinking about. We have to make bullying prevention the seatbelt philosophy of this generation. But it does take a community um, to fight a scourge, and bullying is a scourge. And so it is fantastic that um, Kara Kennedy and the Kennedy Center is taking this on full on, because when Kerry takes something on, something happens. 97% of all the teachers we polled and education support professionals believed it was their job to stop bullying. 97%. The sad news in that study was that less than half believed they'd received the training they needed in order to be effective. That's what we have to change, and I think that's the beauty of what we're talking about, is providing resources to people to make a difference. Um, I made the film because I was bullied and I wanted to give a frame to that experience because I thought without that it was, it was lived somewhere in this kind of debate of this is normal, and this is a rite of passage, and um, others had said this is, you know, so not normal, and so shouldn't be a rite of passage. And I thought if we could see the experiences of those that are going through this, the kids and families, it would help us um, begin to rise up to create the, the, that change. This is probably the next level of human attainment and, and, and understanding that uh, we need to go as, not only as individuals, as a community, as a nation, but globally, there isn't anything that isn't touched by this kind of behavior. As you heard, we're um, celebrating the launch of Project Seatbelt, but also today um, we announced that we have um, achieved this wonderful, crazy goal that I never thought was possible of um, a million students being impacted by the film and receiving training and seeing it. In fact, that number is actually 1.8 million. Um, and, uh, to the critics that say that we cannot change behavior, that bullying is normative, that it's a rite of passage, no, it's, it's really not. We can change behavior. We've changed how we put on our seatbelt. We can change how we treat each other. And so, uh, Project Seatbelt, we believe that students and parents and communities will find, commu will find companions who share the courage to enter the moral conflict. Thank you very much.